two icons of country music, one lifelong friendship. Dolly Parton and Loretta Lynn shared more than the stage in their storied careers. Loretta Lynn and Dolly Parton are not just two of the most iconic and beloved women in country music history, they also have quite a bit in common and share a long and treasured friendship. Lynn was born Loretta Webb on April 14, 1932, to a coal miner father and homemaker mother, and grew up the second of eight children in a cabin in Butcher Hollow, Kentucky, or as Loretta called it, Butcher Holler. She married her husband and future manager Oliver Lynn when she was just 15 years old, and the couple moved to Washington State, where she started performing. She told this story in her best-selling autobiography, Coal Miner's Daughter, named for one of her signature songs. The book would go on to be adapted into an acclaimed movie starring Sissy Spacek, who won an Oscar for her portrayal of Lynn. You really think I sing good? <sighs> Baby, I know you do. Parton was born on January 19, 1946, and was the fourth of 12 children in a family that lived in a cabin in Locust Ridge, Tennessee. She started performing on local television at 10, and made her first appearance at the Grand Old Opry when she was just 13 years old. She moved to Nashville right after high school and met her husband, Carl Dean, at a laundromat on her very first day there. Like Lynn, she's incorporated her hard scrabble Appalachian upbringing into many autobiographical songs, including Coat of Many Colors, which tells the story of wearing a homemade coat made of leftover scraps of fabric to school and getting teased by her classmates. In 2020, Dolly Parton wrote the foreword for Loretta Lynn's book, Me and Patsy Kicking Up Dust, My Friendship with Patsy Cline. She described how she and Lynn got to know each other because they were both girl singers on popular country variety television shows. Parton on the Porter Wagoner show and Lynn on the Wilburn Brothers show. Parton pointed out that both she and Lynn sometimes eclipsed our male counterparts, which caused friction. I think we could both smile with each other and say, hey girl, we're doing all right, ain't we? In the 1980s, Parton had her own variety show and Lynn appeared on it. The two performed a medley of Lynn's classic songs, and the warmth and familiarity between the two singers are obvious as they exchange looks and smiles throughout their performance, including verses from Coal Miner's Daughter, You Ain't Woman Enough to Take My Man, and The Pill. In 1993, Parton and Lynn joined another country legend, Tammy Wynette, to make the album Honky Tonk Angels. The supergroup was Parton's idea. She'd wanted to bring together female country singers who'd broken through in the 1960s and brought a wider audience to the genre. The trio recorded several classics, including Silver Threads and Golden Needles. During their live performance at the Country Music Awards, Dolly called Loretta and Tammy her girlfriends and her idols. Dolly Parton and Loretta Lynn have continued to inspire and support each other on and off the internet in recent years. After Parton unveiled her meme on Instagram, in which she displayed pictures of herself in various get-ups suitable for LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Tinder, winkingly captioned, Get you a woman who can do it all, Lynn followed suit. She wrote, after my family told me about Dolly's challenge, I figured I had to join in. Mostly. Lynn conspicuously left off a photo suitable for Tinder, including the hilarious hashtag phrases, Loretta don't Tinder, and love me Tinder has a whole new meaning. In December 2019, Parton took to Facebook and posted a throwback photo of her and Lynn posing together in their younger days, captioned, friends forever. When Lynn turned 90 in April 2022, Parton was one of many country legends to participate in a video tribute to Lynn. She closes out the tribute and sings Happy Birthday, Dear Loretta, with a special edition of We Will Always Love You at the end. When Lynn died on October 4, 2022, Parton once again joined in a chorus of well-wishers and mourners celebrating the life of the venerable Lynn, posting on Twitter, So sorry to hear about my sister, friend Loretta. We've been like sisters all the years we've been in Nashville, and she was a wonderful human being, wonderful talent, had millions of fans, and I'm one of them. I will miss her dearly as we all will. May she rest in peace.